in this section, in this video, I'm sorry, we will be covering section 2.2, which is basic differentiation rules and rates of change. Now recall that in, in section 2.1, I mentioned that there was a shorter way to finding the derivative besides the limit process. However, if the directions specifically say to find the derivative using the limit process, then we have to do it that way. However, there are other rules that allow us to get to that derivative faster. So theorem 3.2 is the constant rule. It states that the derivative of any constant is zero. And theorem 3.3 is the power rule. And it states that the derivative of x to any power is going to be that power times x to the power decreased by one. Theorem 3.4 is the constant multiple rule. It says if you have a constant in front of a, fr a function, you can take the constant out and just take the derivative of the function and multiply those together. So this would be c times the derivative of that function. This ddx notation is like saying that I'm going to take the derivative of this, okay? Once I've already taken the derivative of a function, you would call it f prime or whatever it ends up being. Now, consequently, if you have the derivative of a constant times x, like 5x or 4x or negative 2x, things like that, the derivative just ends up being the constant all by itself. And the derivative of x all by itself is just 1. And those are consequences of these rules here. Okay, so this is a con uh, consequence of, the of theorem 3.3 and 3.4. And this one here is just the consequence from um, theorem 3.3. Now, theorem 3.5 is the sum and difference rules. So if you do have two different functions and you add or subtract, it would be the same as taking the derivative of each term individually so that you end up with the derivative of one term plus or minus the derivative of the second term. Theorem 3.6 is the derivative of a natural exponent function, e to the x. So if I take the derivative of e to the x, coincidentally, it is e to the x itself, okay? Now you could go through the proofs of these where they actually go through and they take the limits of each one of these things and they end up with each of these things that we have here. Um, all of these responses, okay? But we're not gonna go ahead and, and do that. We're, if you want to see it, you can see it inside the textbook. They do prove each and every one of these. For us, we're gonna use them as our rules to differentiate um, our, our functions. So theorem 3.7 is the derivative of transcendental functions. That's your sine, cosine, cosecant, secant, tangent, cotangent, and then your natural log of x. Um, so the derivative of sine is cosine, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent, derivative of secant is secant tangent, derivative of tangent is secant squared, derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared, and the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. Okay, So we're going to use each of these rules to try our examples in the next few videos.